I learned how to swim. How was your first day of Costa Rican school? Do I get? Do I? Oh! They both killed it, and I'm so so proud of them. Trying to vlog more because I'm not vlogging because there's nothing to vlog. I don't know what people are vlogging about these days. We're doing nothing. I mean, we're working and I feel like there's nothing to show you guys. We, what are we doing? Oh, well, first of all, today was the kids first day at a local school. They still are not back to their normal school year in Costa Rica. So we put them into this camp. We're maneuvering, trying to figure out how we establishing our routine while we're here. We are in a small beach town. so. There's not much to do, which is perfect. So that's where we at. So I'm, I'm excited to pick them up today and see how it went. I'm just waiting for my next meeting. And um, oh my God, I have a meeting now, bye. Two hours later. So excited, my Everling shipment arrived. And I wanna show you a little sneak peek. It's gonna be a haul. Uh, first, I wanna say a huge thank you to Everlane for sponsoring this portion of the video. So although in Costa Rica, I love getting basics that I know that will serve me here and back home. If you guys don't know Everlane, it's a great, great sustainable fashion brand where you can find amazing basics, things that will serve you for so, so long. I'm actually wearing this Everlane shirt right now. I got it last season and their pants that I've been wearing so much. So I'm gonna show you the pieces that I did get. I have uh, a workout set, I wanna see how it fits, and I'm gonna show you some of the tops that I got. Some of them I easily can wear here, other ones I'm gonna wait a little bit once we're back to Canada, but couldn't pass on the opportunity to get them now. So I chose this color because this can easily be transformed to like a really elegant evening outfit. This color just looks really good uh, for either daytime or nighttime. I also really like the fit, so it's kind of more narrow. I also really like how this color pairs really well with gold jewelry. It just makes it all look very luxurious. Second item that I got is this cashmere sweater. And this is why I love getting from Everlane. The qualities are amazing and you get a great price, like those basics that will just be with you for a long time. I got it in this grayish because this is again a color that I can combine with a lot of colors that I have in my closet. Then we have another sweater, but I got it actually with short sleeve. I'm excited to wear this as we get a little closer to spring. I really like it because of the color. How cute is it? I feel like this is such a like mood booster type of color and gives you a really sweet energy about you. Like I'm a princess. Again, a great fit. You can tuck it in. You can wear it with skirts, with pants. Really, really easy one to style. Okay, next up is another button down. I actually was looking for a button down like this for a while. I love that there's a white collar and sleeves and then this is striped. It has this like sophisticated, retired and Hamptons type of feel to it. You know? These are boat shoes. I actually never own shoes like this. I have the loafers, uh, like a Gucci loafers, but I really wanted to see how this goes. And I feel like this is something I'll wear in like the spring or fall. I wouldn't necessarily wear this all together. It might be a little much for me at this point in my life, but I'm happy that I have the option. Uh, these are super comfortable. And I just thought they're really cute. I got this turtleneck, which is super useful right now for me, but I know it will be something I wear on a daily basis once I get back home. Oh, so COVID friendly. This one is 80% wool. It is great, yo. And my hair looks great too. Win-win. Okay, next up is this set. I've actually never ordered um, activewear from Everlane and I really wanted to try and I'm very pleasantly surprised. It got pockets, it's a full legging, and this really pretty bra. And I feel like because it's also solid colors, you can mix it with any other like bottoms or tops that you have, which is also perfect. And it's like really light. 
I also am gonna link and put all the sizes that I got in the description box. So check that out. I'm gonna go now. Keep testing this active wear. How was your first day of, of Costa Rican school? We actually met someone. It was so who, who knows about you? We who? we showed her on it. We showed you on Instagram. Why are you showing <laughs> stuff on Instagram, Facebook. babe? You don't have to do that. Facebook. 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 How do you even know what Facebook is? Because Facebook and I just saw no, your don't worry. and YouTube. Okay. <laughs> okay, so who did you show it me to? I don't understand. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. They even they know even the teacher. She knows Facebook. She knows YouTube. She knows Instagram. The whole world knows Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Not the whole thing. Okay, we're going on a trip to a beach. No, not beach. Club. Club. No. Beach club. Why is there Pio Vida right there? That's strange. Pio Vida. Pio Vida in Spanish means good life, guys. Good life. Okay, whatever. And it's a very famous Costa Rican mod. The next day. Okay, my mama and I are going to learn how to make traditional Costa Rica tamales. I feel like from the explanation that we've been given, I feel like in every culture there's a version of a tamales. I also heard that in different regions in Central America, even South America, I think tamales are made a little bit differently. So some areas they'll put raisins in there, in others they would never, it's a whole thing. So today we are going to a little establishment and they're going to teach us how to make them. I'm so excited. Hola! Mama is driving today. Oh, this is so exciting! Okay, yeah. So you wash your hands, you already wash your hands. You may pick your color so okay. that you wrap your hair and you don't have a hairy tamal. Red like fire. Eso <laughs> pica <laughs> sombrero. <laughs> This is banana leaf. Yeah. I'm practically a local already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Onion. Pepper. In this, no pork. She sells tamales, so she, she prefers to have them raw. Uh huh. Go with this. Uh -huh. Wow, big one. One. My first tamale. We're trying to figure out what ingredients we can find. So apparently, if you really love someone, you can give them a tamale for Christmas, and I think that's a wonderful gesture. You do it with your own hands, right? Make it and then you give it to someone. Guess what she's getting? I wonder how my kids are going to react if their Christmas gift will be a tamale. <laughs> this one's for you, this one's for you. Panimanie, Mantiatsuda, Tibirosh, da, i Vrulivaish. Aha! Good job, Mama. Oh dear! You put banana leaf first, so they don't get stuck to the ah, pot of the yeah to the pot. My vegetarian ones isn't plastic. The, this for four hours. Yeah. Wow, we were. Yeah, because the, the, the dough, the dough is raw. The raw. Meat is raw and Your the rice is raw. Oh wow! Okay, and now we're gonna try our fish. Wow! That's no joke. So yummy. So, how did you think we do? 
very good I think we are gonna come off the idea of trying to do it ourselves at home because I feel like the spicing of the ingredients like there's so many intricate little details and I don't want to ruin it and make it different than it should be so we're not gonna do those and instead we're gonna make the dessert that we actually were taught how to make like a few nights ago and uh, what is it there's a name to it I need to figure it out because I think there's like different names to the same dessert in a couple of countries but when I looked it up it's kind of like a fudge ball anyways we have those ingredients and those there's no way we're gonna mess them up but that was so much fun to try and not try i feel like we succeeded to make these yeah. really yummy tamales i'm excited to try them hello we are going surfing today so i've never surfed my whole life but i've wanted to because i'm curious to see what happens with these guys because jake and ben are also going to be doing surfing lessons and it'll be fun to see valeria do surfing lessons too she doesn't know how to swim so we'll see how that goes Okay, Gary is right about the fact that I don't know how to swim. This is not something that I'm proud of and I was a little embarrassed to tell the kids that, but at some point they'll have to realize that their parents don't know everything. So it's really weird because I feel like I always say that it's like a curse in the family because my grandmother didn't know how to swim, my mother doesn't know how to swim, and I don't know how to swim. So it's like there's like some spell on this family, on the women's side, of just like not knowing how to swim. It's really weird. I feel like I did know how to swim at some point in my life. I just didn't practice it and it's kind of just like gone. So we're back to square one again at 30. <laughs> So I feel like Costa Rica is a country that's known for being like a surfer's heaven. So I thought that it would be absolutely ridiculous if we didn't try and learn how to surf while we're in Costa Rica. I truly believe that everyone, including myself and the kids specifically, have to try like everything at least once to just know that they can they don't have to love it and do it and you know it becoming their passion but i want them to not be scared of trying new things and realizing how capable they are once they learn and practice so that's extremely important for me i think papa's gonna catch the first wave let's I call it so like too. it is one water ice oh, you water ice 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 do i get do i get one of these? Are you gonna be doing flips the i don't know how to do a flip yeah, brown. I think my lady's gonna be standing on the bed first. I think so too. I didn't have high hopes for the day because just in general, if there's anything I've learned this year is to have very low expectations and to just go with the flow or the wave. For Jake and Ben, I feel like I wasn't too worried about them. I just wanted to make sure that they'll have enough of an attention span to actually listen to the instructor, especially Ben. I feel like Ben is a little bit of a perfectionist. So sometimes when something doesn't come necessarily naturally to him, he's just kind of like, I, I can't do this. This is not for me. So I was a little worried. So honestly, worst case scenario, they're gonna hate surfing. Okay, so they're gonna swim in the ocean for a bit and you know, the day, is not like wasted either way but they both killed it and i'm so so proud of them i was scared a little about surfing because again i don't know how to swim so i just didn't want to drown we had an amazing instructor and first made sure that we're practicing what it is that we need to do on land so just to kind of get the movement going it's kind of more complicated than i envisioned i thought you just kind of hop and try to balance your body but there's a few positions that you go through to get like standing on the board so that was really cool to learn i was a little worried that i don't have enough power in my arms to have that plank because you kind of have to do like a plank in the water on a board gary killed it i actually was surprise i just thought that this is not something that he's ever did before although he snowboarded so i feel like you kind of understand how the you know distribution of your body goes he surfed a few waves so i'm really proud of him and i'm so happy that the kids got to see it that we were trying like i was falling over and over again but i was really happy to have the kids watch me you know failing and getting up and then drowning again getting up and all that stuff so i didn't drown by the way I didn't drown it's like knee high the water 
And then after surfing, we just spent the day at that beach club. What I love about Costa Rica is that they have like small little beach clubs throughout everywhere, especially in these beach towns. So we just sat there, we had lunch, we went to the swimming pool where I learned how to swim. Inhale. But I can't. Get in, go on. Is it too Dominant. difficult? I'm yeah. gonna try to find I need an alternative. Yeah, the... <laughs> Chase, stop. I took off my ego out of myself and I forced myself to learn how to swim. And also we made a pact with my mom that we have to learn how to swim. And I feel like it was so important for me to learn how to swim. So my mother get inspired and see that you can learn at any age. So basically I'm a surfer now and I know how to swim. So like Costa Rica has been really kind to me. Just relax. Uh -huh. Okay, that's a great advice. And also do this. Three, two, one. I did it! Wow! Look at Mama, look at Mama. Are you a synchronized swimmer? Yes. I see something! Where are you going? Why are you going for the stairs? That's where. Wow! Good job, Alina. Good job. Good job. One, two. One throw, one throw, no, one time, one time. No, no, on. no. Once, once, once. No. Ooh, one, two. Oh my god, that was very really close to your face. Okay, now you stand and I go on your shoulders. <laughs> if, you th if you think you can do it, you can do it. Believe you can do it. Keep going, keep going. Don't stop, keep going, keep going. Imagine, imagine if you already did it. Imagine yeah. if you did it. Keep going, keep going. Move your arms, your legs, kick, kick, stroke, go, go, faster, go, go, go. You can do it. You already did it. In your mind, you already did it. You already did it. Just keep going. Look, it's so close. It's so close. Get in your mind. Go, go, go. Benny, stop trying to find a reason why you can't do something and learn to embrace why you can't. After we swam a little bit and just chilled in the sun, uh, we went to the ocean a couple more times with Maxi and jumped with the waves and then we saw horses and because we already had kind of an excursion with horses and the kids loved it so much, we decided to do that um, as well and it was very safe, it was just like walking up and down the beach. The boys loved it, I feel like Ben really like found his thing just like riding a horse just another like good practice and just you know exposing them over and over again to different things so they feel comfortable overall it was a pretty awesome day i have to say